Good morning. This is December the 22nd, Friday, 2023, and we are in BBIS first year compulsory English class where we completed reading sex, sci, and conversation why men and women can't talk in yesterday's class where Ariyama made her presentation. And then in the last 15 minutes, we started reading the new chapter, Women's Entrepreneurship and Culture, Gender Role, Expectations and Identities, Societal Culture and the Entrepreneurial Environment. A very long title indeed. Long titles are not good titles in this paper. They should be concise. Okay. And if you remember, in yesterday's class, I began by giving you a simple definition of research. I said research is... Research is... Research is gathering. Come in. Come in. Information. Research is gathering information. To answer a question. That solves Come in That solves a Problem Students do not listen to their teacher while he explains lesson in the class. This is a problem. Right now I was teaching you five minutes before. You are very noisy. I spoke Nepali. Was Arun sit? I spoke Nepali. I tell you, when I get angry, I can't speak English. I had a problem. I'm explaining sincerely something. You are not paying attention. This is, this is an academic problem. This is a Pedagogical problem, problem about teaching. This is a classroom problem. Now I have a problem. Your English teacher has a problem. 
Now what is necessary? The English teacher must solve the problem. The English teacher must solve the problem. What will happen if your English teacher ignores the problem? <coughs> Imagine Divakar sir doesn't care whether the class is noisy or not. <coughs> he ignores. <coughs> what will happen? Two, there are two chances. It will cost money to Divakar sir. How? There is a CCTV camera somewhere over there. And this camera is recording what's going on in the class. The management may be watching me teaching in the class. And the management thinks that, oh, this teacher cannot control the class. So next semester, we should fire this teacher. Why to keep a teacher whose class is uncontrolled? So I may lose my job. If I lose my job, I lose my money. See what happens when you ignore problem. Right? Another, it might also cost me time. Now I will have to look for another job in other college. I might get instantly. I might not get instantly. I, I may be unemployed for a year. Time. Not only that, this problem may cost resources to you. You fail in English in first year. You fail in semester. Because of, throughout semester you were making noise. Your English teacher was not able to control the class. You were noisy. You didn't pay attention. You didn't prepare well. Exam came. You failed. Now what will happen when you fail? You have to pay fees again for your exam. So that will cost money for you. So a problem, if not tackled on time, costs money, time and resources. Not only that, it costs so many other things. It brings many problems, right? Now, we have a problem. Research begins only when you have a problem. If you say, I have no problem, sir, no research is needed. Enjoy life. I have no problem, sir. No research. Be very clear. Where there is no problem, there is no research. Where there is problem, there is research. Why? Because we have to solve the problem. Now, I have a problem in my class. BBIS on December 22, 2023. I started my class. You were noisy. And I want to understand why you were noisy. And how can I control you. So I go to management this afternoon and I say, Tabale class ma city brahnavari chamali paranati, it a forgot leg the class ma Uta Allah Goru. Kosi Allah Guru Mali Dehino, but it a forgirati. The Azako clip Malay Dinusta my study goes with ya. Mali the Pari on the Hari class ma keep on the Jama Tap on Poru. And they give me the clip. They give me okay once a sir. Linus class, Martha Tigis and Ramikura Gornovo, Yernus, the class Kalagas, Yernus. They give me the clip. When I get the clip, I have the information now. I have information about the problem. I have information about the problem. Now I can carefully see Kole Mobile Chalaratio, Kole Sasam Bolatio, Kole Chalagoratio. I can see Kodilayo, the camera tells. Now look, it's being recorded. Now, I, if I look back in the CCTV camera recording now below management, now I will I have information, right? Now I should have a question. The question is, okay, who was making noise in my class this morning? I have a question. My question is, who was making noise in my class this morning? Now I look at the CCTV footage very carefully and I pinpoint, okay, and note down, okay, this girl, this boy was making noise. 
Our second question. Now I know who was making noise. Our second question. Why were they making noise? Now I call them in my office, one by one, and interview them, and I ask them, why you were not playing tennis in the morning class? And they say, they give reasons. I note down reasons. Why? I have a third question. My third question is, how can I motivate them to listen to me in my class? Third question. So do you see, I have a who question, I have a why question, I have a how question. I have three questions. A research that uses yes no question is a poor research. That's a bad research. Never use yes no question. Never, never, never use yes no question. Was it good? Yes, no. That's a bad research. There's, that's not a research. Always come up with WS questions. So I made a question. Who was making noise in my class this morning? Why were they making noise in my class this morning? How can I silence them and make them listen to my class? I have three questions. And I use the CCTV footage to answer these questions. First question. Who was making noise? I answer using... CCTV footage. Second question. Why were they making noise? I answer by interviewing. To answer first question, I look CCTV footage. Who was making noise? I spot and note down the names. To answer second question, why were they making noise? I interview boys and girls. I also read other research. There may be other teachers who have done the same research and they have answered. Kino class Mahalaunza. I read them. Now, how? How can I motivate them? I think critically myself. I think. So, you have a problem, as I had this morning. You look for information on the CCTV camera. And you, you have questions. You answer them. You answer them. And once you answer, you have reasons. Kina Allah bayo. Topic was serious. Divakar sir was boring. Divakar sir didn't motivate. He should begin class with a story first. He should crack a joke in the beginning. Divakar sir did nothing to motivate them. Students came to class without going to the toilet. Health Ram for example. So they are not, they can't pay attention. Bihana padai uncha. Bacha dila uncha. Tisha bisha gharana bhyam udaina. Khada khana kei gharana bhyam udaina. Kuddai kyaamba sa uncha. Upanne mood mein udaina. For example. I may get such, such answers. Now I can solve my problem. This is what research is. Okay. Now we'll invite presenters. And they will carry on. Okay, I'll be there, I'll be with them. I'll also join them. They will speak, I'll speak, they will teach, I will teach, we both will do. Okay? Say we invite. Please do come. 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 और को पेन पेन ले रहा हूँ सुला बाले पे लेहन पारे हूँ मैं पेन डबल ले रहा हूँ सुला पेन ये उतार पेन मेरे क्लास में लगे आसु यहाँ सब और को पेन दिशा ना मतलब चाहिए रहना आसु करो बने को ये उतार पेन मतलब और को दिशा तो दो बहुत सारे पढ़ाऊँ से मनी स्वांगी पढ़ाऊँ Thank you.
Okay, okay, let's start. So they will try their way. I'll be there. And I will also join them. Yeah. Mm. And let's... Uh, you're presenting? Yes. So let's begin with this. Your voice will be clear. Okay, go on. Feel relaxed? Okay. okay. And your job is you cooperate us by listening to us. The best thing you can do is listen to us. Go on. Okay. You can use this touch screen to go up and down. Okay. Okay, sir. <laughs> A very warm good morning to everyone present in this classroom. First of all, I would like to thank Divaka sir for this marvelous opportunity to present this research paper. We spent about an hour yesterday, right, discussing this thing. Yes, go on. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. Let's dive into this research paper. First of all, let's read the title, Women's Entrepreneurship. This research paper only focuses about women. Women's. Okay. This research paper doesn't focus about the man's world. It mainly focuses about the problem in a woman's world, in a step for, in a step for women's... Every paper has a subject, <coughs> right? And the subject of this paper is women. Yeah. Mm. First of all, we need to understand the title. What is the title trying to say? Women's Entrepreneurship and Culture, Gender Role, Expectation and Identities, Societal Culture, and the Entrepreneurial Environment. As Divakar Sar told, research paper... As you, as you speak, always look at them. As a presenter, your most important thing is eye contact. As a presenter, look at the audience with big eyes and a smiling face. That creates a bond, that creates a connection, okay? Presenters must have good connection with the audience, okay? So look at them and speak. Turn this, look here, look there and speak. Go on. Okay, as Divakar Sar told, research paper is... Research paper is something that gathers information to answer a question that solves a problem. So okay. the problem in this today's world is women's entrepreneurship. It is easy for a man to start an organization, start a business and work easily in today's life. But it is hard for women to start a entrepreneurship in today's world. Let me add one point here. Understand that at the university, problem is anything that you don't understand. Be very clear. What is problem at university? Anything that you don't understand. That's a problem that can be resolved. So here we don't understand how women do business. We don't understand how women do business. We don't understand what problem they face. That's our problem. Yes. Okay, I am writing some components of this research paper. You can copy down it in a copy. Okay. Whatever they write on the whiteboard, your job is copy it down. Balla column samatya. Hey, lekhnu pani pani gai chao. Vani balla chet kholi. Na bhai, sunne bhai kepi na hao dena. Hey na? Ti mala sunne bhai kao dena, lekhe na hone. Ti chale lekha vani se balla chet kholi chao. Hey, ito lekhnu pani se vani hao. Sorry for this Nepali. I speak a lot of Nepali, right? You can clip it, so it's still sound on the second one. Yeah. Oh, we have more of them. Oh. 
Okay, in this research paper, the woman. Okay. okay, in this research paper, the broad topic is the woman. Okay. And these are the other components which make the entrepreneurship easier for the harder for the woman. The, that are entrepreneurship, culture, gender role and expect and identities, societal culture, and entrepreneurial environment. So, women's business, as he says, is <coughs> affected by three factors. One is gender expectation and identity. Second is societal culture. Third is environment, an entrepreneurial environment. And you can read these three with the word culture, right? Go on, go on. I have this bad habit of interfering. I will try not to interfere. Did everyone copy this? Can I erase this? Ah. <laughs> okay. okay. You can pose him questions. Yes. You can interfere him. <clears throat> yes. He will respond. Go on. As we have clearly understood the topic, the this research paper is fully about women's entrepreneurship. <clears throat> Of my friend. Yes, you can make it yourself. <laughs> go on, go on, move on, move on. Okay, I'll erase this. Okay, clear and move on. They should write very fast. Okay. Don't wait for them to copy. As you write, they will copy and you move on. Your job is to copy as fast as possible. Okay, now these are the next components of my research paper. The icon over there. Okay, so there are several components in a research paper. The first one is abstract, the second one is keywords, and the third one is del classification. Down, as he said, look, he's showing you. And the fourth one is introduction. introduction. Mm -hmm. And the fifth one is the body. body. Sixth one is the discussion and conclusion. And the seventh one, last one is the references from which the research paper was possible. Okay, let's write down. For them, somewhere here maybe, or or we want outside to wait that arrange for you. Okay, let's write the, the seven or nine components, whatever they are. Somebody has come out the door. Obviously, yeah. You're quite near, sir. <laughs> That's another research problem. Why many chins come late in class? That's another problem. Okay. <clears throat> These are the eight components of a research paper. The first one is the title, <clears throat> Women's Entrepreneurship and Culture. The title, first of all, while reading the research paper, we must always focus the title and understand. <laughs> and understand. <laughs> First of all, we must read the title as clearly as possible and understand it clearly as possible because the main part of the research paper is the title. This should be short and sweet for which the 
readers can re read it quite easily and understand it easily. Whenever you meet somebody, have you seen you first ask their name, right? You ask their name, then you ask them. So always, the moment to hold the paper, read the title. And understand the title. Do not move ahead without understanding the title. Hmm. Okay, the second one is abstract. Abstract can be given example as a window. When we look out from the window, there is a vast world. As abstract is the summary of the paper read before doing the actual reading without going into great detail. Great detail ma naga ikana abstract ma tro. Only reading abstract will also help us to understand the key points of an of a research paper. Have you heard the word akhiz yal? Have you heard the word akhiz yal? Have you have seen akhiz yal in Nepali culture? So in akhiz yal there is small hole, right? And from the small you can peep the bigger world. So abstracts are like that small hole from which you can peep the bigger world, right? Like a window. It's so it's small, but it shows the whole thing. Go on. Uh, it's like a trailer of a movie. Ah, a trailer. like a good, good example. Like a trailer of the movie. Good, wonderful example. Yeah. Okay. In this abstract, also there are four components of abstract. Mm. Uh, abstract has four components. Okay. Please write this down in your copy. It will help you to understand the research paper more easily. Components of the abstract are statement of the problem, research methods, result findings, and the main conclusion. Ah. The, for the first I'm one. So happy seeing your go, go on. The first one is the statement of the problem. First, we must find the problem and we must give it a statement. And the second one is to solve the problem. We need some research methodologies, and these are the res research methodologies used to solve the problem and the third one is result and findings the after using the second point research methodology there will be some result and findings which we can add up to the main conclusion and this can be the main conclusion of the research paper it will help us to find the main conclusion of the research paper more easily let me add here. For example, in this class, can you see I have a camera, I have a recording class, right? So, research method is how do you gather information and how do you analyze it? Two things. How do you collect information and how do you analyze it? So, Divakar sir in this class is collecting information by video recording, right? So, this video recording is a research method. This is a research Method. And this is called empirical method. What method? E-M-P-I-R-I-C-L. Empirical. Based on five senses. Based on five senses, I will watch the video. And then I will analyze it. Right? And this paper also uses empirical method. Go on. Yes. Okay. The next one is the keywords of a research paper. Okay. If you ask me why it is... Keywords of a research paper. Keywords are the terms that you can use to search. Okay, keywords are the terms that you can use to find the holes research paper. 
in a single second. It can be used to search in some Google search engine or in library or any database. The keywords of this research paper are woman, entrepreneurship. Yeah, they can't see the screen. Oh, that's gone now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the keywords are of this research paper are woman, entrepreneurship, gender, and culture. <laughs> <laughs> you learn by doing. The best way of learning is doing, not listening about it. Go. And if you source about women entrepreneurship, gender and culture, you might find this research paper where anywhere, even in Google search engine or any search engine. If you write a research paper, there are some strategies to use in this keyword. You should always use some unique keywords so that your research paper can be found more easily anywhere. Keywords are like your names on Facebook. If I know your exact name, I can find you, right? Okay, the next one is JEL classification. So what does JEL classification mean? It means Journal of Economic Literature. J-E-L stands for Journal of Economic Literature, okay. There are, there are given some quotes in which this journal is classified, this research paper is classified. The B stands for Economic Sociology, the E stands for Institutions. Ah, B Institution. stands for? B stands for Economic Sociology. Economic Sociology. E stands for institution and the ma macroeconomy. Uh, J e for institutions and microeconomy. The J stands for economic, economics of gender, non-labor discrimination. Uh, L stands for entrepreneurship. M stands for corporate. What you need to understand is that these are the methods of categorizing research. What kind of research it is, right? Because even within economics, there are many parts of it, right? That's all. Yes, go on. And the M stands for corporate culture, diversity, and social responsibility. These are basically the code in which the whole research paper is categorized into. Okay, now let's <coughs> head on to the research paper. These are the authors of this research paper. And the first of all, this, this research paper was first accepted on 30 September 2020. And it was first published on 9 January 2021. It was published online, not physically. Online, digitally. And this, this is the copyright copyright of the owner owner company Springer Science Plus Business Media. It is the company which owns the right to this research paper. It is a part of Springer Nature 2021. It is a like LA as Biz style magazine. It is a part of their magazine or a book Springer Nature 2021. The journal like Springer where an article gets published that journal is known with the word container. Container. You know container? So we, the journal, where an article gets published, that journal is called as, what do we call it? Container, container in MLA language. Go on. <coughs> or you will use APA language, not MLA. Okay, there are main three themes of, of this research paper that are interconnecting oh, with each other. Okay, good. The first one is gender role, expectation and identities. The second one is societal culture and dimensions. And the third one is entrepreneurial environment. What do you learn from this? When you write a paper in future, you should incorporate graphics like this. Visual image. This is visual media. Do you see 
visual media makes it easy to understand things, right? So when you write a paper in future, make sure you have such pictures. Uh, it makes the research paper more interactive. The first one is gender role and expectation and identities. It will be explained by my friend Aish Mohardhan. And the second one is entrepreneurial environment. This will be explained by our classmate Suyag Mohardhan. And the third one, societal culture and dimensions will be explained by me. Okay, we shall head to the abstract now. <coughs> Women's entrepreneurship is increasingly important for creating new jobs and contrib contributing to the social and economic growth of their societies. Yet, yet the interplay and the nuance of women's entrepreneurship and cultures are currently understudied. So this is the main problem why this research paper was written. Even though modern days women provide many things for the social and economic growth of their societies, women's entrepreneurship are vastly understudied. There is a research gap, there is a knowledge gap. We must not follow the patriarchal society in this modern world. As a person of a new generation, I expect everyone to study this research paper properly and help women understand better. In this special issue, we present eight em empirical papers that dwell into different aspects of the dynamic interaction between gender and culture in shaping women's entrepreneurship. We provide framework for women's entrepreneurship and culture to organize the empirical research here into three interconnecting themes. This is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third one. These three, <coughs> these three themes are interconnected with each other, helping to shape a woman's entrepreneurship world. Make sure you're noting down. This, this collection is an important step in integrating research on women's entrepreneurship. Okay, if we have hadn't known about this research paper, we wouldn't know much about the women's entrepreneurship. After reading this research paper, we can know a lot about women's entrepreneurship. How much women have to face every day? How much women have to face every day compared to the men's? And culture and further exploring these dynamics and complex interactions in different economic and societal systems and across geographies. Okay, let's add to the introduction. <clears throat> Women entrepreneurs create jobs and contribute to economic growth and social progress worldwide. The world is a vast place. The world is an ever-going place. We are just in a small part of this world and we must not be a part of this patriarchal society that we are living in. We must be a part of modern worlds that growing outside this, outside this country, in this world. Women's, women, women entrepreneurship create jobs and contribute to economic growth and social progress worldwide. Even though they do this, they are not appreciated much. From the initial idea, throughout the gestation process and to business operations and venture growth, their entrepreneurial initiatives are embedded in a complex and multi-layered cultural environment. Let me, let me revise one thing. 
as a presenter, you should never spend time more like this. Get a further time with the audience than this kind of stuff. एक दम ही थोड़े टाइम में तो फर्क नहीं है, बड़ी तो फर्क नहीं है। और आपको कराती है कि वॉइस इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट। ए प्रेजेंटेशन, हाउ यू कंट्रोल? यू कंट्रोल बाय वॉइस। यू वॉइस शुड बी अच्छी मेरे को सांग बजाया सुनने, अजी अच्छी लास्ट सांग बजाया सुनने आई थी, राइट? अली फास्ट बोलने, अली पिच what does an introduction do? Inter introduction provides background of the research paper. Provides background. Declares the main topic. The, any introduction of any paper, it might be story, essay, anything. The introduction always says about the the theme of the story or a research paper, it clarifies what is written in this research paper and it defines the overall topic written here. <coughs> Thus, gender and culture dynamically interact, shaping gender roles, expectation and identities and the economic and social environment in which women's entrepreneurship is embedded. Okay. <coughs> in any research paper, there will, in introduction, there, there will be given a thesis statement. And this is the thesis statement of this, of this research paper. Let's read it again. Gender and culture dynamically interact, shaping gender roles, expectation and identities and the economic and social environment in which women's entrepreneurship is embedded. Okay, this is the main, main highlight of this research paper. This, can, this is said the thesis statement. Okay, moving on. Uh, yeah. Thesis is new idea. The word T-H-E-I-S means <coughs> new idea. T-H-E-S-I-S, new idea. Now, thesis is a new idea which is so important you can discuss it in 15, 20 pages. I ate food. That's not a new idea. Right? I ate food. That's not a new idea. Now, Food is causing thyroid. That's a new idea. If I say I ate food this morning, I can't develop a paper of 20 pages. But if I say food today is causing thyroid, now I can write 50 page paper. So what is thesis? New idea. What is thesis? New idea. Which is so important, you can develop it into 15, 20, 100, 400 pages. Okay? And thesis statement means statement of the idea, expression of the idea. Go on. Okay. Whenever we write a research paper, it must be, it always must be backed by facts. The research paper cannot be written without the facts and the data. So here is provided some data according to the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor (GEM) 231 million women launched or operated business in 59 economies around the world that were studied in the latest 2018-2019 report on women's entrepreneurship. Many organizations and government institutions have long recognized the importance of women in the process of economic development, individual health and societal advancement. Listen carefully. Listen. He's trying to listen carefully. Although women entrepreneurs are important for creating new jobs and contributing to the so social and economic growth of their society, their interplay and nuance of women's entrepreneurship growth and culture are understudied. So here is the main problem. As I said, the topic is understudied. Here is a knowledge gap.
even the women entrepreneurship are doing so much in today's world this topic is vastly vastly understudied and there seems to be a knowledge gap in this topic and there seems to be a research gap in this topic which this research paper aims to fulfill there is lack of understanding i will when i think research begins when we don't understand we don't understand what problems we will face in business so it is a paper right go on okay prior research has identified social cultural infrastructural educational occupational and the role related obstacles and facilitators to women's entrepreneurship culture is a multi layer construct compromising an external global layer penetrating a society in the indigenous layers and ultimately becoming a set of shared shared values within groups understanding cultural system is a critical for understand advancing leadership research in varying context okay understanding cultural system is critical for advancing leadership research in varying context for example in this class we have two class representatives one is the male class representative and other the one is the female class representative so in advancing leader leadership research it shows that even women can be women can be a great leader and they can lead many things great things in future this was vastly under studied in the past cultural indicators relate to specific beliefs norms and call expectation within a society that affect societal culture this an entrepreneurial environment within which business are founded and operate together affect women's entrepreneurship okay these are the main things that affect a women's entrepreneurship if a woman is given the same chance opportunities as a man women can do far the great things than men the problem is the women are not given enough chance and opportunity to prove themselves and what stops them is the beliefs norms and expectation within a society like chori manche bhaya the so called society has the words like chori manche bhaya ra samaj le ke bhancha this is these are very wrong things and this this should be excluded from the society if you run business you may have to stand in line 10 o'clock at night and you come at 10 at home your husband may start questioning Your daddy may start questioning you. Sorry, man, sir, but can't get this lesson. See, one example. Yeah. yeah. The words that I just used are very bad, and in this patriarchal society, these words are used in many of our homes still. And in, as a person of a next generation, I strongly disoppose the use of these words. And as a com- upcoming generation, we must not use this word to make a b- better woman for better world for women. for entrepreneurial environment okay culture represents multifaceted explanation for differences in women's entrepreneurship across societies and in the success or failure of business activities many barriers and constraints that women's entrepreneurs experience are gender specific and stem from cultural values norms and customs gender role expectation and the under and the entrepreneurial ecosystem are under research cultural factors in women's entrepreneurship traditionally defined gender roles within the home put household and family responsibilities largely on women while men provide economically for the family okay this was traditionally defined this means a patriarchal society what a patriarchal society has defined patriarchal society has defined has defined men to provide for the family and women to do the household activities as we all know this is very wrong in this modern world and this must be banished the women can balance work life balance more easier than the men and 
men can do so because the women are giving them the support for the work <laughs> other research present more positive notions about culture and women's entrepreneurship which to some extent counterbalances the most important scholarship done on male and female stereotypes and biases while work life imbalance create barriers for women starting and running businesses women have found way to merge their personal and work life together Okay, for a man, the woman makes it easier for the real life. <coughs> go on, go on, go on. Take me to Okay, work-life imbalance. I talk about. I talked about work-life imbalance. The woman can balance the work-life more easily. For example. the men can listen carefully please he has worked hard okay the respect you can give is by listening go on there is stereotypes and biases in this patriarchal society we all know this the stereotypes and biases are very bad for this modern evolving world in work life imbalance creates barriers for women starting and running businesses If a man starts a business, he doesn't need to care about the home. He just need to provide economically for the family. If a woman starts a business, if a woman starts a business, he, he she must care about the family and the business too. She must care about the both sides, which is not the same for man. If the woman is given the same opportunity to only economically provide for the family, he she can do farther best things than a man can do i'll give an example very tragic example real example uh, at my home we have three shutters and behind my home there is a neighbor and he had a younger daughter in law and she wanted to do some business so she she came to me and she said sir eura shutter mala din ma ke vyapar garchu i said ke garnu huncha she said ma beauty parlor sikha chu beauty parlor kholchu i said okay fine go she start beauty parlor right You know what happened? When she started business beauty parlor, one day other neighbors came there, and they said, "Yeah, the chatty karao khuri ki na painchare karta ho." I heard this thing. I heard this thing. I can never forget. Bichara, will you go around kujira thunke? Right? Kuchh nahi karao. And within three months, there was so much problem by her family and neighbors. She left it. This is a real story from my home, from my neighborhood. As he was saying, when women start business, men start criticizing because our culture doesn't support women. Our culture is male dominant. Our culture is patriarchal, controlled by the man, and when women. Say something. Oh, what he was saying? What he was saying? Do you hear this thing? <laughs> When women speak, they say, "What he was saying? Why only Bali was saying? What they also can make? What do you call? Uh, I don't know the English word for that. So, I don't know. Go on. Sir, what do you mean by Bali? I was saying this because I recall my own incident at my home. Go on. What do you mean by Bali? Ah, when a when a cock crows, for example, that English word for that is Bali. Oh, okay. Okay, as Sir told, Sir gave a very. That's possible. That's possible, right? Once again, on the camera, right? It's going like. Let's have some fun. Go on. Sorry, I I disturbed you. Go on. Go on. Okay, as Sir gave a very. Real... <laughs> real life example about how the men listen to, listen to. the actual men and the so called society criticizes the women for starting a business as a part of this generation we all have to support women who are starting the business it might be our neighbor our friend or any woman we must support them 
So learn, support women if they are doing something, okay? When you support a woman, you support a family. Women have found ways to merge the personal and work lives together. Women's capabilities are increasingly recognized as complementary to the business goals. Skills develop particularly well from the very house responsibility that can so unevenly in, impact women, so, such as multitasking, interpersonal skills. And what is multitasking? I don't know. What is multitasking? Okay, multitasking means doing more than one task simultaneously. For example, we see our moms cooking us cooking two different dishes simultaneously at a singular time. They can do multitasking very well than men. For example, they can cook two dishes at one time, which the men definitely can. Women are better at than men at many things, right? Yeah. And if given example in a office life, they can do the multitasking very well. They can handle multitasking very well. And the next one is interpersonal skills. They can communicate better than men. They can <laughs> they can make a person understand better than men. <laughs> and the third one is emotional empathy. As a human being, we have emotions. As a human being, we have emotional. And we often do, used to say women are Women are emotional beings as they have, it is because they have more emotional empathy for another human beings. They are more emotional, they, f they tend to feel other human beings more empathy than men do. Empathy is understanding other people's feelings. Empathy is ability to recognize how people are feeling and behave accordingly. So women are better at appreciating and understanding other people's feeling than men. Therefore, women can be better business people. That's the argument. Mm. Go on. <clears throat> okay, and this skill shows that the more women are seen leading businesses. Women are seen more leading businesses in the first world country rather than the third world countries that we are living in. This is because in the third third world country like ours, they are not given much opportunities to fulfill their potential. If they are given much chance, our country can also be seen leading by women. For example, the second president of, an, of, the, of our country was a woman. Any name if you know, if you know the name? Yes, the Honorable Bidadevi Bhandari was the second president of Nepal. This phenomenon helps to shift cultures in a way that reduces barrier to women by adding legitimacy so that the notion of the woman in le <clears throat> in leadership becomes increasingly ingrained in a cultural culture, society and economic fabric. Okay, the next one is the special issue of small business economics and entrepreneurship journal short papers that fit within the overarching theme of the women's entrepreneurship. This is the special issue of this journal, small business economics and entrepreneurship. Okay, why is this added? One the head is this matches with the theme of the women undership and culture that's why it is added in this research paper to give more insights to its viewers we invited contributors to investigate female entrepreneurship in a variety of culture, cultural and societal settings with a particular focus on women's entrepreneurship and culture interactions between and among cultures and societies cross culture similarities and differences and the impact of culture and the impact on culture. Emphasis was placed on studies that considered the opportunity strategies and business models as well as the challenges faced in today's increasingly digitalized and network world. Emphasizing how women start and grow their business despite the multi Affected complexities encompassed by a topic as broad as women's entrepreneurship and culture. The eight articles
the eight article uh, over oh, the second line the eight articles in this special issue fall into three dominating themes that we organized into a framework for women's entrepreneurship and culture and research we have talked about this before this research paper basically interconnects only between these three main themes in this article we first review the literature in these three overarching streams with gender role expectation and identities as the dominating theme okay this is the dominating theme of this research paper we then distill and organize that's way. why earlier in the graph it is a miscenter do you realize a paper can be organized around thing do you remember earlier he had three circles i, I remember he had three circles like this you were showing and uh, this theme was in the middle right because it is a central theme right yeah Go dominating on. theme we then distill and organize the various types of primary and secondary data gathered for the work done in these eight articles next we introduce each of the articles with brief summaries of the author's work we conclude by suggesting some directions for yeah, for future research based on the contributions in this special issue this is a very special I issue i have a question very much so yes i have a question boys and girls see uh, graphics visual when this circle crosses this circle it means gender role expectations and identities interact with societal cultural environment when this circle overlaps this circle this means gender role expectations and identities interact with entrepreneurial environment this means this is related see how visuals share the story this is related this is related and we have three themes central theme is this dominant theme now you can draw an, a triangle like this right women research right the three themes right like this thank you okay at short told these all three themes are interconnected with each other now we need a break i guess right Uh, so announce a break. <laughs> okay. Announce a break. Okay, I would like to announce that after the break we will continue the second part. All of you can enjoy the break. Thank you. Just five minutes, please. Don't be more than five minutes.